performance in Brokeback Mountain was described by one critic as as good as the best of Marlon Brando and Sean Penn, Heath Ledger remains humble. I guess I still feel like I'm breaking through. and I, Me personally, I don't think I ever want to feel like I have broken through and are on the other side. I want to continue to strive for better. And, um, but it's obviously an honour and this is uh, really overwhelming. <laughs> The film also introduced him to his future partner, Michelle Williams, who was cast as his long-suffering wife. My life changed certainly from meeting uh, Michelle. And I've got, I have a family, a beautiful family, and a beautiful, two beautiful girls, thanks to Brokeback Mountain. So it's extraordinary the level in which my life has changed. He was born in Perth, Australia in 1979 and came to international attention in the Hollywood teen comedy, 10 Things I Hate About You. A few years later, Heath's confidence with women stood him in good stead for his betrayal of Casanova, a role in which he invested little research. I didn't have to, but I did a little just uh, out of curiosity. I, I knew little bits about Casanova, but not that much. And um, you know, so I read uh, like one of his journals or two of his journals, and and then uh, after reading the script and talking to the director, I realised that um, the director or the script. Um, well, the actors around me weren't really necessarily taking his story and his legend too seriously, and it was an opportunity to kind of uh, not take ourselves too seriously or acting too seriously and, and just uh, have fun, which we did. After wowing critics and audiences with Brokeback Mountain, he also managed to squeeze in a starring role in Terry Gilliam's The Brothers Grimm. No wonder he didn't know which hat to wear when all three films were selected for 2005's Venice Film Festival. It's taxing, you know, it's uh, exhausting. Um, I, I, I don't know where I am right now, I'm kind of floating, I'm having like out-of-body experiences <laughs> when I'm talking to people and I feel like every sentence I say, I've, I've just, it was the same as the, the very last sentence I just said and every word that escapes my mouth is the same word that just followed it and is about to, you know, it is, it, it's just very confusing and it's very, uh, uh, exhausting, as I said, um, but I'm, I'm trying as hard as I can to represent yeah, all three films with stamina <laughs> and you know enthusiasm. <laughs>